Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful air signs. This message is for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, watching this video. If you have air anywhere in your chart, this message might resonate. If you're dealing with an air sign, this message might resonate. All right, let's get right into this message. My beautiful air signs, what's going on? What does Spirit want you to know? What's the main energy? Speak to me clearly, ancestor, spirit guides, and spirit how Anna, what's going on with the air signs watching this video? Hmm, something's going on with somebody's mother here. Somebody's mother might be sick or ill, all right? Or maybe you guys need to heal from being separated from a mother figure, all right? For some of you guys, you could be this mother, all right? You could be suffering in silence. Something that has to do with a bond between you and a mother figure, you might need to heal that bond. You might need to repair the bond. Or there's a situation with a mother figure, all right, that you need to heal from, all right? You could have abandonment issues with a mother figure or a mother figure passed away and, um, you know, you could be mourning the loss of a mother figure. Some of you guys could have grew up not knowing your real mother, all right, not having a bond with your mother figure. Something that's significant about a mother figure and a, a red ruby could have been significant. A red ruby could be significant here for somebody. All right, speak to me now. Somebody could be named Ruby. All right, a Reuben. I heard Paula or Paul. All right, love yourself first. So you're putting you're putting a lot of love into yourself right now. All right, you're starting to recognize yourself. You're starting to hold yourself in high regard. You're starting to admire the things about you that make you that you know. You're starting to admire things about you that make you different than other people. All right, because like I said before, some of you guys could. Could be a, a divine feminine watching this video and you um didn't have that connection with your mother and didn't have that validation from your mother you felt abandoned or rejected by your mother or maybe the mother your mother wasn't there in your life so yeah you need to love yourself value yourself uh embrace your gifts that's what i heard breathe take a deep breath all right breathe take time to breathe take time to meditate take time to heal and rejuvenate your strength right now because right now you're having a lot of memories coming up from the past you could have had a major awakening, all right, on an out-of-body experience where uh, you had this spiritual breakthrough, all right? So when you have a spiritual breakthrough and things start to make sense, you, you start to put everything together of the things that happened to you in your life, it's time for you to go into deep meditation, go into hermit mode, all right? Heal, rejuvenate your energy, strengthen yourself, all right? For some of you guys, you feel like something has become stagnant for you. This could be business and, and, and with your money, you could have, you could feel like your business is stagnant or like you're not getting paid enough money, like you need more, like something's blocking you from having this money that you need or from being uh, stable, all right? Forgiveness, all right? As you forgive others, as you heal, your blockages will be removed, all right? So healing something with you, somebody needs your forgiveness, somebody wants your forgiveness, or um, yeah, you just need to surrender to the divine, all right? You need to surrender to the divine and make peace with yourself, all right? Because you woke up to uh, you woke up to your spirituality, you woke up to your gifts, and also you could have been in this energy for a while, but for some reason you you started to lose hope for for something because you felt like somebody kept throwing some dark energy and it kept blocking you. This mother figure might be trying to give you a message. This could also be a grandmother for somebody watching. All right, but your passion has been ignited. Once your once your passion has been ignited for your purpose. There's no turning back right now, all right? So for you guys, there's no turning back. Moving moving forward, moving strategically, making important decisions, all right? You need to sacrifice some things in order for you to get to where you're going. And this could be people too. You could have to sacrifice some people in your life in order to get to where you're going. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person, all right? It doesn't mean that. It just means that you need to let go of the baggage, whatever's holding you down, weighing you down, whether that's fears, whether that's things that happened to you in the past, whether it's you feeling regretful for something or um, a guilt, like having guilt on your mind, you need to release all that energy because you don't, you, you can't take that where you're going. That will slow you down. All right. So if somebody cannot play mind games with you, emotional manipulation games with you, if they can't trick you, all right, into sabotaging yourself then your blessing is secure. So master your mind, my beautiful loves. You guys are very intuitive, very creative. All right, you guys can multitask. You, you know, you can get things done. You learn things fast. 
Somebody's been trying to slow you down. Yeah, they've been holding on to your energy and they want to hold on to your money too. They, they feel like whatever you have belongs to them. And that, you know, that's, that's what I'm talking about. When you're dealing with a karmic, they don't want you to receive blessings. They don't want you to receive an offer. Somebody could be trying to block an offer from coming in. Somebody could be trying to block your business from growing. Somebody's trying to block you, um, you know, from taking back your power, basically. This is somebody that's younger than you, or this is somebody that's in this immature energy. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you could be dealing with, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. My beautiful air signs, take back your power, walk away, let go. Because whatever somebody put you through, that was orchestrated. That was the devil's tactic in your life to break you, all right, to slow you down, to make you lose your confidence. But get back up and keep on going, all right? Heal from that. Learn from that. Allow that to make you stronger, all right? Never let anybody make you feel weak. So this person could be, you know, this is somebody that's like, somebody that you helped a lot or somebody that you cared for a lot and somebody that you felt like, you know, you would you couldn't just walk away from this person, but this person was delaying your will of fortune. Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be a karmic female in your life. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that's been delaying your will of fortune. You had to take back your power and walk away. You became intuitive. You woke up to the truth. You need to see what you need to see. All right? Somebody doesn't have to be a water sign, but they can have water in their chart. This could be a karmic female in the reverse. All right? This is a dark empath. You're becoming enlightened to this, and that's the reason why you're walking away. And this is the reason why you're pulling back your energy. Mm -hmm. All right? You could be dealing with a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. All right? It had an out-of-body experience, awakened to something. All right? This King of Pentacles could be somebody in your life. This could be a family member, a sibling, a friend, a co-worker, an ex-lover. This person had had a major awakening here. This person had an out of body experience or they had a major awakening and they're no longer in the eight of swords when it comes to you they see things clear because this person was projecting their energy onto your life this karmic female here this karmic queen of cups <clears throat> and wanted this king of pentacles to turn his back on you that's what i heard yep yep judgment and the reverse judgment in the reverse all right Somebody's trying to delay you from receiving justice, or they're trying to delay this tower moment, but this tower moment is coming because somebody left you out in the cold, they did something on purpose, they wanted you to be out in the street, or they just didn't want you to have nothing, and you had the Ten of Pentacles the whole time, this legacy of wealth that could have been left to you by a grandfather or father figure, or just that you were meant to be successful, you were meant to have, you know, a lot of money, or you were meant to have a successful relationship and a commitment or a union, but somebody got in, in involved in your situation. You're waking up to that. You're the yeah in the hangman mode, or somebody's in hangman mode, which means if somebody was meditating or somebody took some sort of um what I what I heard DMT something like that DMT all right somebody took some sort of acid or some sort of trip and they had an awakening and all of a sudden this person had a body out of body experience. This could have been as somebody doing meditations to awaken their third eye and all of a sudden have this out of body experience. Whatever it is, could have been a vivid dream too. Somebody had. They're in the Ten of Swords now. Somebody's in the Ten of Swords because they took a leap of faith against you, this Queen of Cups, all right? And they used spell work, and they were very sneaky, deceptive, and they lied. And the secrets are coming out to the light, and you will be able to celebrate because you walked away from this karmic lover, ex, or family member. Queen of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with another air sign as yourself. Exactly, but you had to let go of this... Queen of Swords in reverse. You had to walk away from this Dark High Priestess, this karmic mother figure as well, or this Queen of Cups in reverse, in order for you to take back your power and heal from a situation and know that you were meant to be successful or that you were very intuitive and that you have a powerful destiny or purpose. And this path wasn't going to be easy, all right? So you constantly got to be cleansing your energy, cleansing your space, doing your spiritual protection work, all right? Yeah, because something has to end something has to end air sign in order for you to receive this major blessing that you want in order for you to be able to celebrate you're getting communication about somebody that's been spying on you or somebody's been spying on you they've been taking screenshots of of, of your post or they're they're trying to like they're trying to make you look bad to someone else if there's somebody behind the scenes doing this somebody's been watching you you're gonna get communication from somebody they're reaching out because they figured it out all right you could be dealing with a queen of wands all right Queen of Wands energy, you could be in this Queen of Wands energy, 
you just finally you're, you're finally you're getting to know yourself more finally you're finding yourself finally you know the truth about everything things are being revealed or this queen of wands wants to communicate because the queen of wands feels like they uh, have a message for you or they uh, are actually connected to you somehow spiritually you're letting go of the burdens and you're waking up to your strength and your power wow beautiful energy Keep moving forward, my beautiful air signs. I love you guys. All right. This is not going to be a very long reading, but I decided to come on here and give you guys a message. All right. Because you guys need to hear this message. All right. I heard something about um, ladybugs. You might be seeing ladybugs might be significant. Then I heard cherry blossoms. So I don't know what cherry blossom has to do with it. That might be symbolic. Cherry blossoms. That's what I heard. Somebody had too many chances and you're not giving this person any more chances to lie, to destroy whatever you have going on or to betray you. You're fed up and you completely pull back your energy. You know, you're, you're starting to realize that everybody around you wasn't who they said they was. Like you're cracking the code. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody had a major awakening to that. Uh, the universe is like so like. All right. So the universe is very mysterious. There's a lot of dimensions, planets and other beings here. So some of you guys might be connecting to these higher dimensional beings of light here. You're cracking the code. You're very intuitive. All right. Success in business is going in your favor. Blockages are removed. Keep going. Your third eye is awakened to the truth now. Yeah. Somebody here, you were meant to be famous or in the public eye or somebody that's famous or in the public eye is noticing you or they want to work with you. Going on a vacation to celebrate. Yes, you will. All right. Going to travel. Some weird, vivid dreams. You having some weird dreams, but those are actually premonitions and messages, so pay attention to them, all right? Because you're the golden child. Everywhere you go, people stare at you. They notice you. or you're, It's like your vibration is increasing. Powerful spirit owl you have, chosen star seed, powerful empath, golden offer top position. That's what you're going to have because you're a healer. Somebody wanted to put you on a dark path. Wow. Yeah. This, this grandmother or mother figure wanted to... Put you on a dark path. So you could use your gifts for the wrong reasons. But there's it's it's never too late to, it's never too late to change. It's never too late to connect with God energy. It's never too late to surrender to the divine. And, and something is going to happen. You're gonna have a brand new life here. Yeah, somebody's fake friend was like lusting after their person. If you were in a relationship and you had like this fake friend, they wanted to sleep with your person or this cousin that wanted to sleep with your person and you just knew this person was trying to um, destroy your connections, stealing your ideas, copycat energy. Uh-huh. Somebody could have been tampering with your car. There's evidence a jealous sister betrayed you. You have a royal bloodline. Moving away um, to calmer waters for a peace of mind here. Let go and start healing, my loves. I heard Ronnie, Ronnie, Raina, or Rachel. Brandon. I heard Ramsey, something like that, Ramsey. Yeah, information coming fast, they're all going down. So I heard Charles. Somebody's in bad health. The judge. All right, so there's a judge involved here, or there's a judge here. Somebody has to go to court. Somebody was trying to hack someone's device, but you're about to celebrate good times because even everything they did to put obstacles in front of your path so you wouldn't make it to where you were supposed to be, or so you wouldn't get this divine connection with this person, or so you wouldn't have this, this successful life or abundant life here, and you would actually be able to heal. They kept doing things to you strategically. There's a sister here and an angry ex. They're under judgment, all right? They've been in communication the whole time. Mm, co-workers, jealous co-workers. There's always going to be jealous co-workers. So focus on yourself at work. Don't focus on your co-workers. Like going into tunnel vision while you're working. Like if you could wear headphones, listen to music, or just don't be distracted by co-workers. For somebody here, it's time for you to work from home or start your own business. This is your confirmation because wherever you go, there's always going to be these weird co-workers. All right? Yeah, there's a tower moment. Somebody had a third party. They're getting exposed. Somebody could have had a son here. Somebody could have a son here by somebody, and this person was cheating. They had a third party. Somebody could have had a son by the karmic and got somebody pregnant with a son. The this is getting exposed. Six of Pentacles, a major blessing is here. Somebody could be ending up going to jail. Sudden payout of money, a windfall. Yep, an Ace of Swords is the truth is coming out to the light. I heard Victor. All right, High Priestess, the truth. 
the father figure, secret enemies, and having a major awakening to this father figure, well, uh, trying to put you on a dark path or something about your father figure is significant. You had to heal from that. Moving away from these people. Yeah, they wanted to, uh, yeah, they just wanted to hinder you, all right? So now that you see the truth, move forward, all right? Because this is, this is your message, my loves. You and somebody else are coming into contact, or you were meant to be with this person. Somebody's had an out-of-body experience. They're sorry they walked away from you, all right? They're going to travel towards you, all right? So get ready for that. If you guys need a personal reading, my email is down below. Love you guys. Till the next time, namaste.